getting rid of the water, production water at the disposal. All right. Got my headgear. Safety. No one's truck rolling off. All right, I'm gonna grab that and it goes in front of whichever tire you choose. As long as you have it in front of a tire. And at this disposal, you have a ground that you have to hook up, and then that light there has to turn green and stay green while you're getting rid of it. So you, you clip it to, I always do it to one of the lug the studs. All right, until the light's green, nice and green. So you want to check this valve here make sure that's not open you know that lets water come in i'll show you so you grab the hose get it go over to the back of your truck what you want to do is you take this this part off somebody left water in the hose they weren't supposed to supposed to drain it but so you take your you undo it like you undo it like that pour it in your bucket make sure nothing spills on the ground nothing can spill you get your clamps and you make sure they're nice and tight all right and then what you want to do is double check that handle and make sure it's closed because it keeps the water from running to it so you open your handle here slips the water out of your trailer and I still have negative pressure on the trailer I always leave that closed until I get here so I'm putting off the vacuum the vacuum I have on the trailer and now the water is going to start running in. So while you do a lot doing that, you come over here and you can see the water will run into that little handle. So you open this handle here. And what that does is it lets the water into the tank. This is called a Getty box. So you watch for water to come out so you know water, there's no air in your line. You close it. All right. And you come over here. And they have a secondary handle. This is a, a electronic valve, so it closes and shuts, or opens and closes electronically by a button. So this is the manual, and you always want to make sure you get that open. That way, you can the water can flow through. You push the on button here, and you'll, you might be able to hear it, but I always check it. If that means the valve's opening, so now you look to make sure nothing's leaking here. You make sure that's closed. You walk inside. And you open a little valve in here it lets the water run through. it lets all the air that's in the line run through to you get water here all right so if you're watching hear it once it hits water you know okay water's coming out down there there you go no water now the pump's on i go back out go back out real quick one more time before I put my paperwork up you make sure nothing's dripping you want to look for water dripping from your connection and you want to make sure nothing's leaking here okay ground green lights on and then what you do is you come in here and each place is different but put the paperwork put the paperwork here and then a guy comes around and collects it every so often and the pumper the pumper that runs this disposal and checks it so that's pretty much all there is i just double check everything one more time you listen for the pump good all right so now you just wait so what we're looking at is right now i have 140 barrels on my trailer if you see that i have 140 barrels right there it's already starting to go down a little bit but that way i know i have 140 barrels and then also that red and yellow line right there that tells me that's 140 okay that way you know how much is on your trailer and i have it kind of marked that's 100 right here that yellow line 40 20 all right so somebody was asking me somebody asked a good question about that earlier uh on my channel they asked me how to how can you tell so that's one way to tell how much water is on your trailer uh some people have axle weight uh measures in their cab and that tells them you can go by the weight that it's showing on the trailer too that way but i don't have that on my truck so but that's it okay other than that that's, just, that's how you do it pretty easy y'all have a good night